is Jeremy Tesmer for SGTV. Magical realism? It sounds like one of those contradictions in terms, like jumbo shrimp, or old news, or artificial reality. For our upcoming exhibition, For Real, Magical Realism in American Art, I suspect that there will be those who are excited to see the realism. The technical handling of media like tempera and oil, the drawing, the modeling, the careful measuring of proportion. But I bet there are even more who want to see some magic. Magical realism has been around since the late 1930s and grew up somewhat spontaneously around the country. Sure, it had its precedence. The Hiroko's early metaphysical paintings, for example. The highly detailed new objectivity paintings by George Gross and Otto Dix. Maybe Hieronymus Bosch is even in there somewhere. But the godfather of magical realism must be Magritte. Said the godfather, my paintings are the opposite of dreams. I can work only in lucidity. Magritte used the literal and the deadpan to undermine the logic of pictures themselves. He made obvious the merit of Picasso's line that art is a lie that makes us realize truth. It is the imaginative quality of the fabrications and the playful wink of their contrivances that give these paintings their sparkle. Jean Swigget's trompe l'oeil drawing, for example, of leaves falling on his drawings of figures might invite a smile. Or sometimes these paintings possess a slightly unnerving quality, a feeling of uncanniness when something familiar is not quite right. That enigma of a narrative that doesn't quite make sense can intrigue, inspire, or maybe even haunt us. And some of these paintings, like this shell portrait by Gertrude Abercrombie, simply involve strange metaphors. A shell is a person, or a tree is a person, in this self-portrait as tree by Scott Kahn. Sometimes magical realism simply toys with our expectations of proper context as it does in this blooming flower in the desert, or this lone house at the edge of a cliff. And some of these artists seem to seek out the mystery and the ordinary, the sense of something macro and something micro, as in this painting by Susan McDonnell, or a stillness or silence that seems pretentious, maybe even pregnant. For real, magical realism in American art will be on view through June 2nd. Come see it.